In this video, we want to integrate sine squared x dx. Now the way we're going to do this is by making a, a substitution. So sine squared can be rewritten as 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2. So we're going to plug that into the integral and I'm going to factor out the 1 half. So now I need to integrate 1 minus cosine of 2x, which is a lot easier. And here, I know we can make a u substitution if we want, but um, think of it this way. You want to find the antiderivative of cosine or negative cosine, which is negative sine. Keep the inside the same and then divide it by the derivative of the inside. Okay. So that's how I got negative sine 2x over 2. If you want, you could have done let u equal 2x, so du will be 2dx. So instead of doing, so if we go back here, 1 minus cosine u, and then du is 2dx, or dx is du over 2, so that's going to be out here, the 1 half. And so we have 1 fourth integral 1 minus cosine of u, du, which is 1 fourth u minus sine u du, or u we said was 2x, so it's 2x minus sine 2x. Now, notice here that sine of 2x is the same thing as 2 sine x cosine x. So I have 1 fourth 2x minus 2 sine x over cosine x. And if I distribute the 1 half, so if I rewrite this as 1 half times 1 half, let's get the 1 half to distribute. I have 1 half times x minus sine x cosine x. And then don't forget the plus c, obviously, for all of these. So that's what I did over here. But as you can see, it required a lot of steps to do it this way. So highly recommend you use this little shortcut to find the antiderivative of cosine 2x. And this is our final answer.